Hi Gary, I have done a couple of videos for you so you can learn how to set up the DKT7 to look like the uh, MSD600M for the uh, loudness LEQM capture that you have been working with for many years and also learn you how to use the loudness automation in the automation mode. The uh, graphical loudness looks like this and the automation is something like this, but more about that later. I'm starting out from a standard preset, so uh, that is currently showing LKFS. So I want to get rid of the things on the screen I don't need. I have a signal that is the two surround sound signal. You can see I have three AES streams and they are all active. Currently I'm only showing left and right channel and short term loudness and integrating loudness. I want to switch these two bars off and configure it to a surround sound. So I will add, click at the, on the edge of the screen, go down, say center channel, one more channel, left surround, and right surround. I'm currently using the LFE for the time code, so I cannot bring that on the screen. I can adjust the bar graph with, I think I want to make these narrow, normal, normal spacing. Okay, so I have a surround sound signal, five channels. Then I want to change the mode I'm working in. Currently I'm working in LKFS mode. So I change and I go to my preset selection and I want to go to the LEQM mode. Right. This is a new preset. So when I recall the preset, you can see it's changed to LEQM. That is what I want. And I want to change the name of the preset. I do that by right clicking here and I bring up the editor and I call that 5.0 space LEQ. M and save it. So this is my new preset and where I want that I want to configure. This is showing me the real time. So you can see it's still early morning here. So I want to change that to use the simty time decoder. I click here and I click on the simty time decoder. My simty time code is coming on analog input, the first analog input. So I want to make that visible just for the exercise here. So left analog here and uh, I can convince myself that this is a simply time code by looking at it. Yeah, this is definitely a simply time code. Switch back and uh, then I want to tell the system that this is actually the same time code. So what I do, I right click on the input to change the source label assignment and I go and select the label called SIMTI, which tells the system that this is actually a SIMTI time code. And I make a reselection and you can see my time code is running now. And I save it. So now I have LEQM, I have uh, the, oh, take that away. So I have the left, right, I don't want that color change, so I click on the bar, go to the colors, and say I want them to be yellow, and yellow, and uh, yellow, 
and yellow yellow and yellow okay next thing is that I want to use uh, the start time and the stop time in the system which you can program so I want to change the uh, readout here so what I do I click on the peak level and I get the list of all the lines I can assign I open the folder say I want to see the start time and I want to change the size so I have more space on the screen in this display so I click here say one to have the smallest possible and you can actually see I already programmed it so I will change that to say okay this is a selected time so now I have uh, the current time code I have the start time and the stop time I can take that away if I want say I don't want to see that in the window if you find it more convenient of course you can bring it back uh, and I want to save it again so you can see the start time and the stop time I haven't really programmed it to anything yet I will do that I will do that by right clicking on it and I call up small template where I can engage it I have a flag here so I enable it and you can see I have currently programmed that to five seconds with a simple code of five seconds so the way you do is that you type in like you do on your phone go to the digit and in this case type five and you can go to the next line right click here and you can see oh that was 50 seconds but that I can quickly change that so go six zero 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 and five so I have programmed my time to have a window between five seconds and 30 seconds that's my capture window remember when you're using uh, the loudness capture mode always uh, there's a pre-roll of three seconds so so you must have a time code to start time or you must roll the tape before uh, the start time otherwise you will miss out uh, three seconds you cannot put it to zero <clears throat> in that case you need to roll it three uh, three seconds before uh, the uh, midnight rollover what you can also see here that the uh, selected time is blinking and that is indicating that the current time code is outside that window as soon as it will be within the window which actually will happen uh, when uh, the video I'm playing is uh, rolling when the time code goes back then it will be active for the f 25 seconds between these two time intervals okay next thing you can do is that you can see I have a start time reset and stop time here I can populate the menu line to look like uh, the 600M on the 600M you have the stop on the right hand side so I clicked right click on that key I say okay I want the stop key to be there and I want the start key to be next to it and I want the reset key the reset key then I also want something that can be compared with the dynamic and the and the uh, integrating selection which you will have on the 600M in on the GKT7 that's called uh, short term and integrating short term these keys I want these keys to be public to change between the different menus because I can make this panel go away completely so I but so if I need uh, I want the keys to be uh, selectable you know I can put them here so I want these to be application selection look through the list say okay starfish that's the one we're in 
and the graphical loudness and spectrum analyzer. Okay, save it. And um, you can see I can also make this panel go away to make more space on the screen. I can uh, still bring the uh, the panel next to it, save it once again. So now I have my control surface uh, ready to use, measuring LAQM. One thing I just want to make sure is that the capture mode I'm using is the automatic uh, start and stop mode. I can do that by clicking on the scale, move to the edge, see LEQM, and the capture mode is out, out to start. That's what I want uh, for the traditional So, so that's, that's set the setup. Next, next video will be how to capture and compare it.